Hi, this is Sackshane112, and welcome to another episode of... Dan the Computer Man. Hello, welcome to Dan the Computer Man. In today's episode, episode 26, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can convert videos to the many different video formats out there such as AVI, WMV, etc. using AVS Video Converter 6. The software is absolutely free and I will be providing the download link in my description. So, okay, so let's say you're in a situation like I am where I have a camera that records my video files to a QuickTime movie file or .mov. But if you want to be edited for use with Windows Movie Maker, you're going to have to convert it because Windows Movie Maker does not support that kind of a file. So what you want to do is open up AVS Video Converter 6 and for Windows Movie Maker, preferably you'll want to convert it to WMD or AVI. I have it selected on WMD. So the first thing you'll want to do is go over to the input file name and click browse and I'll just do that. And for the output file name I'll just call it the same thing as for the input one. CIMG0297 and for the profile you have a many different choices such as Microsoft Zune, best quality and a bunch of other things and you can even create a custom profile and after you have everything all set up just click convert now and else, then if you have the free version of AVS Video Converter it will say warning you you are using a non-activated version of AVS Video Converter the watermark banner will be placed in the center of the output file. Are you sure you want to continue? And just click yes. And as you'll probably see, it takes a little while. So, uh, so you'll just have to be patient and wait. Okay, so now it's all done. And you'll see this one window that says conversion is completed. And you have the option to open file. Or you open folder or just close it and as you can see here is the file I just converted right here so as you can see it worked just perfectly but with the free version here you get this go. annoying watermark <laughs> so if you want to remove that you'll have to register ABS video converter 6 and now when I go into Windows Movie Maker and I import that video it will show up there because it's a WMV file and that's supported by Windows Movie Maker Ta-da! Now I've just successfully learned how to convert video files to many other video files so you can use them with editing for Windows Movie Maker and other movie editing programs Okay, so that's about it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dan Computer Man, and have a great day.